My name is Sam Lin. I'm part of the NC State College of Veterinary Medicine class of 2020, and I'm from San Antonio, Texas. You know, I when I was little, I don't know, it's like the little girl thing, you know, everybody wants to be a vet. I have this like experience. I remember when I was, I think I was four, and my parents didn't let me have a dog until I was 10. But when I was four, we were at um, one of my parents' friends' houses, and they had a lab. And I remember just playing with the lab the entire time. And at the end of the day, my mom, I told my mom, I was like, I want to be a vet. And she was like, oh no. <laughs> and I'm like a really stubborn kid, so <laughs> it just sort of stuck. Um, I remember I visited Boston when I was eight. And when we visited Boston, my parents wanted to take me to visit Harvard. And I was like, no, I want to go visit Tufts Vet School and I want to visit Angel. It was <laughs> the, the um, vet hospital up there. Okay. I had read this book. It's called Animal ER. It's about this, um, it's like the behind the scenes at the Tufts Vet School and their ER. And I thought that was so cool. And I had remembered like talking to someone about Angel and I was like, that's where I want to work when I grow up. And it's funny because I always thought, you know, all throughout high school, I was going to go to Texas A&M for undergrad. And then I was going to go to Texas A&M for vet school and I was going to get my Aggie ring and it was like this whole thing. I had this, you know, 10 year plan and then it's kind of funny where life leads you. So I went to Harvard um, okay. and well, there's no traditional path because there are so few people at Harvard who want to go to vet school. I think in my class of 1600 people, there was one other girl who's going to vet school next year. So I ended up through a lot of fortunate encounters getting the opportunity to shadow the cardiology unit at Angel um, and I think that changed, like shaped a lot of my experience in terms of wanting to go into specialty medicine and wanting to pursue that path in vet med. So I think that was probably the most valuable experience out of going to Harvard was getting the chance to, you know, extern at this place that I had always dreamed about going to. So that was like a really surreal experience I think when I got to do that. I met a couple interns at Angel who had gone to NC State and loved it. <laughs> well, so I got in uh, to NC State and I told the resident about it. Um, who didn't go to NC State and she was like, oh my god, you got in? You have to go there. And I was like, what? <laughs> so I wasn't even going to visit for welcome day because I was, you know, set to go to a and I like had filled out my acceptance form to, you know, about to send it in, oh, had wow. hung the like, like, I think it was um, future Aggie veterinarian. They sent you a poster when you got in, which was really cool. You guys should do that. And I had hung it on my wall. So I was all set to go. And then, you know, I started talking to people at Angel and they were like, yeah, NC State is such a great school, like you should definitely go visit, just keep an open mind, see what happens. So I visited on welcome day and <laughs> just sort of visited at a kick, sort of like, you know, just want to make sure that I made the right decision, don't want to have like any regrets. Um, and then I visited here and then made that decision that day to go here. Um, I really liked the curriculum here. Um, I thought it did a really good job of giving you a smattering of, you know, different options before you had to choose what focus area you wanted to go into. And then the professors, um, I had this conversation with one of the anatomy professors here that really made my decision for me. I had been talking to a couple students and I said, you know, I'm really interested in going into surgery. I really would love to end up in academia someday, you know, doing the teaching thing, maybe doing a little research. And they were all like, you have to talk to Dr. Gerard because he's amazing and everybody loves him. So I ended up going over to his table and sitting down and just having this conversation with him, you know, about my interests and about what I wanted to do with my life. And he just was so laid back and gave me such good advice. And he just, you know, made it seem like it would be a good fit for me and I could see myself going here. So I would say choose state. <laughs> yeah, I would say you have to come visit. You have to meet people. Um, you have to meet the faculty and then I think it's a pretty clear decision. It wasn't hard for me, so.